Hi, my name is Fabio Varesano. In this little video I show you my last homebrew breakout board which is a breakout board made for the ADXL 345 accelerometer. If you remember, I already did one breakout board for the ADXL 345 accelerometer uh, but as you can see, it was uh, my first test, my first try in building an Ombrio breakout board. So as you can see, it came out really, really, really ugly. Anyway, it was uh, very good. It worked good, and um, but I did some more experiments and more tests and I was been able to create this one which is a, a breakout board for an ITG free to gyroscope as you can see I think I'm I've improved my technique a lot but and so today I show you this one which is a breakout board for an ADXL345 accelerometer and you can see that compared to this one is really really smaller and better and, and polished so let's have a look at it uh, well as you can see I'm no more using through all capacitors but I'm now using so, um, surface mount mounted capacitors you can see that uh, this is a two layers PCB and you can see that uh, I reduced the number of pins because uh, this one had almost all the the pin uh, break it out instead this one has only what I actually needed so we have here one you have here the the ground the voltage the SDA SGL I2C lines and here we have the the interrupt one pin of the ADXL 345 so this this bracket board also has uh, a nice feature which is uh, this thing here as you can see there is one track and the user can connect it with uh, some solder or to um, ground or on the 3v3 pin so what happened as this track is connected to is connected to the um, ADXL345 alternative address pin when you connect to the this to the ground the the chip will get um, an I2C address when you connect it to the other pin it will get another one so that you can use um, two accelerometers on the same I2C bus so that's it as you can see I think this is really this looks uh, really great I can and well I can see I can show you how this works I have everything ready here on my Arduino 2009 and I can simply attach it in the right place okay and now let's see how this works here I have uh, two programs one for the one for the um, Arduino you and one it's a simple processing application which can 
which basically uh, shows the shows the um, the position of the Adixel 345. I have to note that uh, this code came from a, a website which is called Life Life Fast Code Young. You will find uh, the link on my on the web on my website in the post which embeds this video. So you can find all the original code there. I simply adapted it a little bit so that it it would uh, display my back breakout um, my breadboard uh, configuration. So, okay, let's see let's see if how this uh, works. So, there we go. We have here the application running. I have here my my board, as you can see, if I mo move it, it follows my my movements, and there you go. So, as you can see, it's it looks like is it's working very good, and nothing. This is, that's it. So, there you go. Uh, you will find. Uh, all the designs and everything you need to to build this breakout board for yourself on my personal website and if you have questions comments or you want to contact me in any ways please get in touch with me at varesano.net or just leave a comment on this video below thanks for watching and goodbye